Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. I got another unboxing video for you today and it's right over here or I guess we could call this an unbagging because this is how it showed up. Now I just got this from Amazon. This is a ocarina and this is my second ocarina ever. The first one is actually right over here and I've got it sitting right here. This is a, uh, you can see it's Ocarina Wind and I'll go ahead and link that video in the description if you're curious. Now before we start, let me just say, this was not sent to me for free. I just went out there and bought one because I figured maybe I should try another, another Ocarina. For reference, this one actually is a pretty decent uh, Ocarina um, as far as like it sounds pretty good. It seems like the workmanship's pretty good, but when I actually tried to play it with other instruments, I realized it's not in tune with the reference pitch. It's in tune with itself, but it's not in tune with the reference pitch, so it makes it hard to play with other instruments. So I figured, well, let me try another one, see if this one's in tune. This is also from Ocarina Wind, but this one is called The Mountain Song, I believe. Let's just get it open and find out. But anyway, uh, this particular one, as I mentioned, came from Amazon. I think these are around $22, $23 from Amazon, not an expensive uh, Ocarina by any means, but they did have a very high um, star. They had like four and a half stars or something. And a lot of reviews. So hopefully people like them. Um, or apparently people like them. Here's the box. You can see the Ocarina Wind uh, script there on the front. And it says on the side here, if I can read that. Oh, Mountain Echo. I think I said Mountain Song earlier. Mountain Echo Ocarina is what this is called. Let's go ahead and get the box open. Voila. Okay. So, box there. It looks like we've got a little tutorial and songbook for 12 Hole Ocarina. This is a um, little pamphlet. Take a closer look at that in a second. Now, this, you can see, this is very different than the last one. The last one came in this pouch, and this pouch is quite different. This is actually more like a hard case, whereas this is more like a soft. You can see there are some impressions here. Hopefully, you can see that um, to show that it's kind of it's kind of uh, you know bulged out to to handle the um, the ocarina and still protect it. So let's go ahead and get this open. Voila! There she is. So this one is significantly larger than my other ocarina, and looks like there's a little accessory pack here. I'm gonna set that to the side for one second. Let's go ahead and get this out. Cool looking instrument right here. Let me take a look at this. It's this like kind of pale blue, and it's got this kind of crackle finish let me see if i can get it close enough to where you can see that i don't know the light's probably gonna there we go so it's kind of a cool looking finish that it's got so here's the sweet potato and here is the mountain echo you can see the mountain echo is significantly longer and uh larger just in general now this particular one is a alto scale in the key of c and this particular one is also an alto scale in the key of C. I actually didn't realize that when I ordered it, but um, so they should be the same notes, but this one is definitely a much bigger vessel. You know, the funny thing about having a YouTube channel where you unbox stuff that you've never played before, I did this video like, you know, quite some time ago where I unboxed this and I've played Ocarina probably five times since then. So, you know, I'm still very much an amateur at it, but I'll do some sound samples here in just a second. First, let's take a look at what other accessories it included here. If we open this little packet, we have, it's like a lanyard. And this is actually very similar to the lanyard that came with the other uh, ocarina. And then we have a cleaning cloth and that cleaning cloth has the ocarina wind logo on it. Let me see if I can get that to a place where you can see it. There you go. Okay, so for starters, start with all the holes closed, and that should be your low note. So it doesn't sound too bad. It's got a pretty smooth sounding low note. Of course, with these ocarinas, it's the high notes where they tend to get a little sour. So let's see here.
You know, I'm just getting over a respiratory illness and I'm trying to play a wind instrument. That's probably not the brightest idea in the world. But you are getting the picture that this is a fairly easy instrument to play. So I think the next thing is I want to see how accurate this one is to reference pitch. So as you could probably see there, it's a little off. Um, it's not terrible, but it is a little off and some of the notes are more off than others. So um, if you're gonna play with other instruments, you might notice that um, depending on what you're doing, maybe you won't, uh, but that's, that's good to know. Now I'm gonna guess with instruments in this price range, that's probably pretty common. Um, at a low price like that, a lot of times there's quality control um, inconsistencies between individual units, so it's not unusual to see this one be a little sharp, this one be a little flat, um, and so on and so forth. Overall though, for a you know sub $25 ocarina, I think it looks pretty darn cool, and I think it sounds pretty good. And for me being a complete novice, I could get some sounds out of it just immediately after taking it out of the box. You can get these from Amazon. I will go ahead and put the link below in the description if you are curious, but there you have it. That is the Mountain Echo from Ocarina Wind. And thanks for tuning in today, folks. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you go ahead and subscribe for me. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.